There are about three different types of people. Those that are about to go through something, those who are going through something, and those who are going to go through something. And I was looking into it that the saints become so discouraged over a period of time. Many of us, praise God, would have been going and walking with the Lord, but then for one reason or the other, somebody or something would come and we would get discouraged and decide that we need to throw in the towel. I'm not here to praise the devil or to praise, praise God, the, 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 the kingdom of darkness, but I look into it that the devil is never discouraged mm, somebody somebody needs to come with me just a bit I'm, I'm not giving the praise to the devil but you, you you need to understand that Satan is never discouraged he's always praise God going through and doing what needs to be done no matter who says or does something he's always doing what he needs to do are you with me somebody you know that it's always good to have somebody who you can look up to somebody who's going to encourage you somebody who's going to pray with you somebody who's going to give you a word but what do you do when that person who would pray with you is no longer around what do you do when that person would always have a word for you is no longer around what do you do when your prayer partner is nowhere to be found this was the state that the church was in because Jesus had gone years now the apostles had gone and so the church was in a state of discouragement the church was in a state of hurt and their spirits were now broken but can I tell somebody that no matter how discouraged you might get God is still in control but as they threw John in that pot of boiling oil something miraculous happened because though John was in that oil he was still alive and not burnt and not feeling any pain are you with somebody they decided that the best that they could do was just to throw him on that prison on that island of the Isle of Patmos and leave him to die but somebody needs to know that which the devil meant for evil God's got a way of just turning it around and working it for your good John was in prison they left him to die but in the midst of the discouragement in the midst of the turmoil John said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day they threw him and left him to die but John kept on worshiping John kept on praying and as a result of this the Lord took John up and gave him a vision and this was where John got the revelation for over 30 years Jesus had left but now when John looked he said I saw the Lord and he had his ear as wool his feet as brass fire was coming out of his eyes he said oh John I am he that lived and was dead can I tell somebody that though you may be going through Jesus is still in control he said John go tell my people go tell my church I've got the keys. Oh God, somebody need to come with me. We don't need guns and we don't need machines. What we need is what we've got. You've got the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside. Look at this, look at this. I tell you this, that when people walk up here, they must carry this, they must carry that, they must carry boot, they must carry underwear. Oh God Almighty, I know up here, but me know how it goes. Can I talk to the church? They 
they have to do so many different things and they sprinkle them oil them have them oil that can't come to nothing have them oil that take where people man have them oil a prosperity for the day them have their oil at this and them have their oil at that but when you think about the child of God the child of God doesn't need anything to throw anywhere oh God somebody needs to come you need to recognize uh, the power that you've got. Uh, I understand as a human being, uh, you believe you need some olive oil. Uh, and so it was Naaman who said, uh, he thought for his healing uh, that Elisha uh, was going to come and do something physical. Uh, but God wants us uh, to transition uh, out of immaturity uh, and get into the place uh, of maturity all you need is what you've got what is it that you've got you've got the power that said let there be you've got the power that separated the waters from the water you have the power that caused dry ground to come out of water you have the power that caused the fowls of the ear the beasts of the field the fish of the sea and you know to know this you've got the power that put the moon in place put the sun in place put the stars in place understanding this power it was this power that Moses understood and when Moses wanted water Water for the children of Israel Moses looked at the rock and God said to Moses speak Moses open your mouth Moses and speak to the rock Moses spoke for the rock and out of the rock came water anybody have ever been discouraged because folk turned their backs on you you need to understand that whatsoever the enemy is putting on you you've got the power to open your mouth and curse the curse every single negative word where everybody ever said about you you've got the power to curse the curse the word said no weapon that is formed come on with me somebody against you is not gonna prosper I love this part and every negative tongue oh God you see the devil knows the power of the tongue that's why make people shut you so much before we reach to heaven I want you to understand don't wait till you reach to heaven to walk in a victory now somebody missed that somebody missed that somebody missed that listen the devil now we are till heaven to persecute you oh god somebody need to come with me the devil now we are till heaven to hurt you the devil is hurting you no so why is it that you're going to wait until heaven the bible says god is going to prepare a table before me in the presence of God Almighty of my enemies don't wait till heaven they're going to see God lifting you up now they're going to see God bringing you out now they're going to see the words that they spoke come to naught no! Oh God, somebody need, somebody need, somebody need to, somebody need to smell victory. Somebody need to smell victory. I am not waiting for heaven. I am victorious. No! I'm not waiting for heaven to be prosperous. I am going to be prosperous. No! I am not waiting for heaven to be healed. I am healed. 